To add a transaction in Moneyline, select the correct account from the left side of the screen. Click the Transaction button on the toolbar. In the dialog box that opens, enter the date and transaction type. If you are entering a check, Moneyline will automatically enter the next consecutive check number. You do have the ability to manually enter a different number as well. Select the payee, enter any notes, select the category, enter the amount, and click OK. You can split a transaction into multiple categories in the Add Transaction window. Enter the date, type, payee, category, and amount. Then click the Split Transaction button and enter the additional information in the Split Transactions window. For more information on splitting transactions, watch our Editing Transactions tutorial. Moneyline is able to import transactions from OFX and QFX files that you export from your online bank account. To import a QFX or OFX file, go to File in the menu bar and select Import from OFX QFX file. Navigate to the file that you would like to import and click Open. The Import Transaction window opens. Here you can edit the transaction information. You can also deselect any transactions that you do not want to import by clicking on the checkbox on the left. When you are finished, click Import. Importing a CSV file is similar. Select Import from CSV file from the File menu. Navigate to your file and click Open. Use the Preview window on the right to view the first line of your document. Click on Click to Assign in each transaction field and select the appropriate data. After assigning data to each applicable field, click OK. The data is imported into your transaction list where you can assign categories, make notes, and any other edits. To retrieve transactions directly from your online bank account, click the Retrieve button on the toolbar. If you have not already entered your bank information, click Set up now in the pop-up window. Click the Enable Online Account Access checkbox. Select your bank, enter your routing number, your account number, your user ID and password. If you do not want to store your password in Moneyline, click on the Prompt for Password checkbox. Verify that all data is correct and click OK at the bottom of the window. Moneyline will connect with your bank and retrieve new transactions. For more Moneyline tutorials, visit the address shown on your screen.